Last times for me always came from as a result of an overdose. Um, I overdosed 15 times in a year and a half. That feeling that I had chased for years just wasn't happening anymore, but at that point I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Yeah, I couldn't stop. When the drugs were fun, um, I didn't really have a care in the world. You know, like that feeling in my childhood where I felt like I didn't belong, you know, that, that went away um, when I was drinking and then just like, I felt like everyone liked me more. I was, I liked myself more when I was, you know, drinking and then experimenting with all sorts of other drugs. Um, they, were, they were a lot of fun. I wouldn't have kept doing them if it wasn't. It was fun at first. I wanted more of it and just kept doing it. Yeah, when it stopped working, um, I couldn't be happy. I couldn't be sad. I couldn't be. I have two children. I have a seven-year-old daughter and a three-year-old son. And, you know, they, they were taken from me and I didn't care. It was like, okay, now I can use the way I want to use. You know, it wasn't like I set out to hurt anyone. It's like, I just didn't care. I didn't ever care, you know? It was a horror show. Uh, it's, it's every parent's nightmare. Once things got dark, drugs became my life. Um, it be, drugs and alcohol, really, both. Became, every, every day I woke up and it was like, okay, how am I gonna get messed up today? Like, towards the last few months of my using, it was, you know, every day I woke up, I was like, today's gonna, I'm not, you know, today's either the last day or I'm not doing it today. And then, you know, I'd stub my toe and I'd be like, ah, oh, well, I might as well. Um, it took me a while to get honest with myself about the fact that I was an addict, that I was an alcoholic, that I actually had a problem with it. And for a long time, once I wrapped my head around that, I just didn't realize that there was any way out. He said, Mom, before you were always the one that wanted to get me help, I want help this time. See, before he never really asked. I just took over the reins like any parent would. You know, oh, you're going to get better. And, um... He was ready for it. It was the most wonderful thing that ever happened, excuse me. It was the most wonderful thing that ever happened. Getting serious about this place when I got here. Doing what they said, reading the big book, finding a sponsor, um, making coffee at meetings, doing all the stuff they tell you to do. I did. And uh, it works. It works. I'm, I'm nine months sober now, or almost. You know, I was able to find some people that I care about that care about me, that I trusted, that said, you know, this is what we do to stay sober. Just do what we do, you know, um, believe that we believe. And, and those, those sayings and stuff and that kind of belief led me to a path where I could like start to do it for myself and then starting to realize that like, there's no reason why if I can do it, that someone else can. I never thought I uh, would feel this good about my life. They were telling me early on that life is going to be better than you could ever imagine. I was like, yeah, yeah, what are you trying to sell me? Um, and, you know, they were right. They really were. Now I'm free. I am hopeful. Now I'm strong. <laughs>